Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition of your favorite show, Talk of the Town on b for You. This is your host, Monty, and I welcome you. We are here in Fort Lauderdale, where the NOAA Southeastern University announces a multi-million dollar transformational gift that will help in the ever-growing need of physicians and healthcare professionals across the country. We'll be meeting a lot of donors, and one of the donors is the great leader, the visionary, the living legend, Dr. Kiran C. Patel himself, who's known for always standing up when it comes to education, medicine, and helping the community. We'll be heading straight to the white coat ceremony. We have a three-day event where we'll be doing and meeting a lot of great leaders and a lot of great personalities. So let's head straight to the white coat ceremony and let's hear the guest of honor, Dr. Kiran C. Patel. Welcome you to the annual White Coat at Nova Southeastern University College of Osteopathic Medicine. This ceremony is the first of many to honor your accomplishments and to remind you of what you have ahead. The White Coat ceremony is the initial step in professional development of a caring, humanistic physician. entrepreneur, and the first person of Indian heritage to have the United States Medical School named after a person of Indian American heritage, Dr. Karan C. Patel. truly honored to be standing before you this morning. I want to congratulate each and every one of you on arriving at this milestone in your career. As you walk across this stage today to receive your white coat, your journey in medicine will begin. The donning of the white coat is a century old tradition. One, two, three, fins up. All right, perfect. Now you all the sharks, including Dr. Spadell. medical students, you are bound by the same professional commitments that bind all physicians. This ceremony will join the symbol of the white coat with the virtues of altruism, responsibility, duty, honor, respect, and compassion. As you now embark on this long and hallowed journey that leads to the privilege of serving as a physician healer, let me share with you a few words of advice. First, always keep in mind that becoming and being a physician is a journey, not just a destination. The second involves what you need to learn in the next few years. It is not what you think and possibly not even what some of the faculty think you need to learn. The 
the most difficult of these skills, believe it or not, involves listening. Remember that the patient and their families will almost always tell you what you need to know to help them. Just let them talk while you listen. Learn to listen. My last piece of advice is both simplest but also the most profound, at least for me. Focus on the patient. Every aspect of what you do and who you are should flow from them. If you focus on the needs of your patients, you will get it right nearly every time. Your patients will love you and your colleagues will respect you. Most importantly, everything else will take care of itself. It is the beginning of a process of professional and personal development that will never stop throughout our life. Heed and follow this message and I guarantee you the sky is the limit. Thank you, God bless you and God bless America. The eyes of Dr. Morton Terry, the founder of the Health Professions Division, looking down and saying, thank you, Dr. Patel, thank you for carrying on his goal. Remember, again, you are part of my family. I just want to wish you nothing but Godspeed and tell you that we're very proud that you're now members of the Karan C. Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine with your white coats. Good luck. Nova Southeastern University's College of Osteopathic Medicine. It really is just filing papers to let the certifying agencies know that we are renaming at the Karen C. Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine. When you speak to the honor of the name of Nova Southeastern, uh, I believe that this brings us greater honor. This brings us philanthropic ideas. This brings us a worldwide service. So how I perceive this, and I'm sure that the administration perceives it the same, is this is a step up for us rather than a lateral move or a step down. So I fully embrace that we will take the new name as our new mantle and we will continue to proceed and do wonderful things under that name as well. Execution, supervision, implementation, this is what will make a difference. And a, a, a child that is born in a smallest village in a remote area of India, opportunity is created by the government and that's all they can do. Lekin, implementation ki zarurat hai. Motivation, sabko ke bejo usko padne ke liye, khet mein kaam karne ke liye nahi, padne ke liye bejo. That is the most important part. And I think, I am very proud of Modi ji. And Modi ji has a super global vision. He has made a huge difference already being there for few years. And hopefully bless his heart that he will be there for many more years. And India is moving rapidly. So that is my strong feeling and I'm proud of it. Dr. Wallace and he are already planning the expansion to India for our healthcare sciences. We are having an alternate site now with Tampa. We will have to wait for a certain period of time to establish 
a third alternate site, which would be in India. Dr. Hanbury just mentioned, I like to say, if anybody can do it, I can do it better and at a lesser cost. I guarantee you that we will be creating a tremendous impact that is affordable in the country where we will go. We are also very blessed that I was able to do things in my Matru Bhumi, that is India, my Janma Bhumi, that is Zambia, and my Karma Bhumi, that is United States. Our success and where we are today Many cultures, many continents, and many people have played their role. And we are also fortunate enough to be able to give back to those societies. Dr. Karan Patel and Dr. Pallavi Patel, through the Patel Family Foundation, are making a $200 million commitment to Nova Southeastern <laughs> University. This includes a $50 million gift to NSU's Realizing Potential Philanthropic Campaign, again, the largest single gift the university has received during this entire campaign, obviously, since it's the largest in our history, and an additional $150 million commitment in real estate and facilities developed for our specifications in a state-of-the-art development in the Tampa Bay region. In a state-of-the-art. In a state-of-the-art. State of the art. It's my pleasure to share with you the unveiling of the Dr. Pallavi Patel College of Healthcare Sciences. I would like now to unveil the Dr. Karen C. Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You're watching the second special edition with a very, very prestigious guest, Dr. Kiran C. Patel, who actually is a great name, not only in the United States of America, but all across this globe. And his name lives in the hearts of a lot of Indians across the world. We have a pleasure of having a part two interview with him on b for You, And today we'll be discussing a lot of things. His core values on family, his great palace that he's building in Florida. We'll get to know more about that. His other sides of investment, his involvement with IFA, which he really enjoyed that happened in Florida. And more to learn about the Wyndham project. Well, let's get started with our second edition on b for You. Doctor, welcome once again. 
Pleasure to be with you. I cannot stop complimenting you. You're looking beautiful, amazing, dashing with that purple combination on today. Thank you. <laughs> I like to dress, dress up. sharp, right? <laughs> well, doctor, you know, all that I've read and researched about you, you have always admired your father and you believe strongly in family. Uh, you have a son, Shilin, and you know, you're a grandfather as well. Uh, let's talk more about this beautiful, huge palace that you're constructing. And can you share us more about how beautiful it's going to look and some more details? See, I think, um, like you mentioned, my father has been my role model. He believed in joint family. Yes. He had brought up at least 14 children because he lost his two brothers at younger age. So all their children, to raising them up, getting them married, getting them settled was his responsibility that he took upon himself, not that he was forced to. In a similar fashion, it has been my belief that family is more important. So to me, if I use a little bit of Gujarati, is my father had said that Paisa Mate Sabandh Nai Bagarwano means Paisa Mate, I, I would like to repeat that. Paisa, Paisa Mate Sabandh Sabandh yeah. Nai Bagarwano That means to not spoil relationships so, for money. So if you had a choice of picking between relationship and money, then opt to go for relationship and not for money. Wow. Very well said. So, Your father was really a wise man. So when I say if you, by that I mean if you ever help a relative financially, then make sure it is with an understanding that you don't expect to get it back. If circumstances are there and they want to return, then that's okay. But many a times in families, that help becomes the root cause for animosity. And in that manner, again, if you look at the story of the four sticks, you can break one stick easily, you combine four, you can't. You can never break them. That's, that's so, a very great example, a livid example. And if you can talk more about your family, because everyone yeah. want, talks about your profession and you would like to know more about Dr. Patel and the family as well. I have three beautiful kids, two of them physicians, one in business with a dual MBA from, you know, Columbia and London Business School. They are all healthy. Very good. I and my wife are healthy. Excellent. So I think wealth comes in many, many ways. Most people measure it in dollars and cents. But the true wealth is a lot more than dollars and cents. And that is where I say that when I have children that are established, self-sufficient, self-supporting, well-educated, no problem of drug, alcohol of that type. That's huge. And being together in a cohesive manner. That's why I say, now one of my daughters is not married, we have six grand, beautiful grandkids. Yes. So in all aspects, what one wants to have is been bestowed onto me in abundance. Now let's talk about your palace, because I've read it somewhere that you're trying to build a, a, a Taj Mahal. I am a Taj Mahal in the US. I have been trying to avoid the Taj Mahal, <laughs> but because you bring it up, we can, ta we, we can it. talk about it. Sure, sure. Now the idea was simple, that if I have a facility or a residence, where all of us are together. So before I took on this project, I had asked my children that I will only do this if you are planning to stay with me in the same place. So that, that was a prerequisite. If you are with me, you will not make it, you will Otherwise, I don't need it. Right. So at least this way, maybe we can have dinners together. The children can grow up together. 
the same transport can take them to the school together. That bonding and camaraderie can go a long way in future. How many rooms are we looking at this Taj Mahal? You know, what I have done is in a very unique way. Right, right. We have created an environment such right. that the, each children will have their own privacy, own selection of interior and choices. If my son is having a party with his 15 friends or 20 friends, then I won't even know about it, we are so big. So what is happening, or for that matter, if I had 15, 20 of my friends, they won't know what's going on at my house. That's how big the house is, so you can understand. And we're, yeah. we'll be, we're showing visuals while we are talking, so, uh, so guys can understand how beautiful. I will put it in a different way. The main building is size bigger than a football field. So it's greater than 300 feet in length. In fact, sometimes I wonder that to communicate with each other, we might need microchips so you know where location, <laughs> location somebody is. <laughs> well, we are showing visuals while we are talking and so people can understand how beautiful this house is going to be. It's probably going to be one of the biggest homes ever owned by an uh, Indian American in the U.S. Let's talk on a lighter note about your involvement with IFA. Do you love Bollywood? What's your favorite actor? I am not that big a Bollywood fan. Bollywood to movies to dictate on But not as much because of time constraints. My honest answer of getting involved in IFA was because I was the first one to be able to bring it to Tampa. I like to be associated with things in a manner to be either the first or something that nobody could do, etc. That's Dr. Patel. If no one can do it, then Dr. Patel will do it. So let's talk about your $175 million Wyndham project, which a lot of people thought would not happen. And you went against the odds, your personality, and made it happen. Yes, it was a big challenge for multiple reasons. A single individual to get financing of that size was the first challenge. Uh, the economic downturn was the second issue. So as the time changed and I became creative, I brought in the right partnership, sold part of the towers to Wyndham on timeshare side. So with a lot of creativity and negotiation, I was able to complete that project. But today in the hospitality industry, I have a 700 room hotel in Pittsburgh. I have a resort in Tucson. I have just this last week we bought Minneapolis. Uh, I have a hotel in Minneapolis. I bought a resort in Colorado, Colorado Springs. Springs. Uh, so Tampa, there are multiple smaller properties. So I've been fortunate that in any area I go, I'm a very passionate, very you turn, intense... You turn sand into gold. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is not enough for us to get more close to Dr. Patel. We, we did our very best to get to learn you and your strategies, your philosophies of life. We would want to thank you and we'll surely talk more with you, sir. Thank but we you. wish you all the very best in all the great things that you do thank for you. the society thank and not necessarily only for Indians, but for humanity. Yes. As you believe in humanity. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Karan C. Patel, a visionary, a philanthropist, entrepreneur, and most importantly, a great man. Keep thank watching you. Be For You. Thank, thank you. you, sir.